When I was in high school, I had to take chemistry as a prerequisite for my desired undergraduate program. I remember being really bad at it, and no matter how hard I would try, I couldn't get over a C plus on any of my tests. So naturally, I ended up with a C plus in high school chemistry. Once I was done that course, I thought to myself, I'm never looking back at chemistry ever again. Sure enough, I didn't need to take any mandatory chemistry courses during my undergraduate program, but I was short of a couple of science credits outside of my major, so I thought, why not take chemistry? In the summer of 2022, I took two chemistry courses, Chem 1000 and Chem 1001. Both covered different units from the same textbook, so by the end of the year, I had covered basically the entire textbook's worth of material just to prepare for my final exams. Now, long story short, I got an A in both the courses, so there were a few things I did do right this time around, and no, it wasn't because my professor ha was a better teacher than my high school teacher. So in this video, I'm going to share strategies that helped me solidify my chemistry content and ace my courses. So number one is do your own research on the topic being taught in class before it is officially introduced by your teacher. Especially if you're new to the specific terminology of chemistry, this really helps you understand what your professor will be talking about. Now, I don't want to complain or anything, but my professor basically assumed that everyone knew everything in class. So he was casually throwing around chemistry words, which to me was like a code language I had to decipher after going home. Tip number two is do your practice questions over and over and over again. Specifically focus on questions that you got wrong, figure out why you got them wrong and do them again and again and again until it becomes your second nature, literally. Or at least until you're fluent in solving similar questions. Tip number three is creating a study group and attending office hours. At least have one meeting with your friends or your study group before you can go to the exam. So this way you can bounce off material that you and your friends studied in case you missed something that they caught on to. Attending office hours was honestly not something that I had found helpful because my professors did not know how to teach in a student-friendly way. I was not that vocal during class either, but I did make a friend in lab who was really good at chemistry. We'd meet up on Zoom a few days before the exam or sometimes a week before, which would help both of us clarify and solidify topics and concepts that would be covered in exam. Also, a big thank you to this friend because she was the one who helped me get this grade that I got and also she'd helped me become a better student overall, not just in chemistry, but in all my subjects. Tip number four is use YouTube and Google as your tutor because they really are. There are so many amazing YouTube chemistry videos and people who are creating content that is specific to what you are studying in class. And honestly, sometimes it just helps to have that specific topic that you're stuck on to be taught in a different way, in a different perspective, so that you can better understand and remember it and also apply it. Sometimes when you will be doing your practice questions, you will find that you don't actually know how to do certain questions. And this is where YouTube, Google really help, but also Chegg helps find your exact solution to that question. And I subscribed to Chegg for a couple of months and it was really helpful. Tip number five is always go through each and every textbook question that is prescribed by your teacher because those may show up on your exam for sure. So get ready to sit down for hours on end, practicing, reading, and researching. This is how you emerge yourself into the subject. Tip number six is create your own cheat sheet as you go along. Sometimes your professor may provide a formula sheet for you in advance, so you could just add those extra formulas by hand on the paper. This was super helpful when preparing for my exams because every time I would start practicing, I wouldn't have to flip through a billion pages to find that one formula that I really need to solve that question. And it also helped me memorize formulas for the exam. So basically, when I then sit for the exam, I quickly write down all the formulas that I still fresh in my mind, that I still remember, onto the paper, and then I start working on the exam. Tip number seven, or the final tip for this video, is to create your own practice test for yourself. This allows you to practice active recall during the exam. This way you're not frantically worried about, oh, how am I supposed to remember this formula? How do I solve this again? All that stuff. You just calm. You've practiced being in the situation before, so you know how to handle it. So what I would do is when I would start practicing, doing the practice problems, just like regular, I would circle ones that are actually really hard for me to do or ones that I, it took me a little time to figure out. Like those kind of questions I would put them on the on my practice test 
and don't always select the hardest ones but go for ones that were challenging but also required the basic skills that you know you're going to be tested on also i don't know if you guys may have similar situation but lab manual questions also make good test questions so make sure you understand how to solve those as well once you sit down complete your practice test mark it off like as if you're your own teacher and pinpoint where you went wrong and find out how it was supposed to be how the answer was supposed to be you may also consider redoing those questions again once i've practiced till my heart's content i make a booklet of all that practice questions into one i put the quizzes on top and then after that all the textbook questions that i solved and sometimes even the redos that i done and this way before the exam i just have this booklet in my hand and i review that and i'm ready i hope you guys found this video helpful thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye good luck